sometimes the simplest tips are the ones that catch on that I assume a lot of providers know. But here's a good one. You have a case that has <clears throat> some, I would say, moderate upper crowding and more moderate to severe lower crowding. There is a bolt-in excess on the lower and the tiniest bit of a class three tendency. Uh, this side, you can look at the canine, a little bit class three. You see it again here, little class three in the premolars. Uh, so that's why you're going to see lower IPR. So this case is one that has the potential to develop anterior interferences as you line up the arches. And so what I do in a case like this, my ultimate finish point is going to have the upper incisors coming somewhat forward, which is going to allow for the lowers to have the clearance to align combined with some lower IPR. But what I do to avoid some initial interferences is I defer the lower movement just for about four aligners. If you So if you notice here, nothing is moving. I instruct the technician to not move the lower teeth and I get the uppers with that little bit of a head start. And there you see at the fifth stage, the lowers are moving. So again, I start on the upper. I explain this to the patient. We give aligners that are passive aligners on the bottom, but this way I just get that little bit of initial clearance so I have less chance of developing anterior prematurities because as you know, with aligners, if you get anterior prematurities, quite often that can potentiate a posterior open bite combined with the thickness of the tray uh, leading to that possibility. Hope this helps.